Hey, this is Margo TV, and we are doing Bulldog in the Kitchen, Episode 4. Based on Greg's clothing today, you can guess where we're headed. That's skiing. Take it away, Greg. How you doing? Well, in some parts of the country, maybe it's getting a little warmer, but where most of my friends are, it's probably a little chilly. So, no pun intended, we're going we're gonna to share a chili recipe from Ski Town Soups. Just so happens on page 121 is Cabin Chili. Now from my family and friends who have been there, Curly is the owner operator of the cabin. And his recipe is in this book. So that's what we're gonna to make today. So hang on to your cowboy hats. First, a little olive oil, splashy, splashy. Now, onions and jalapenos. We're gonna get those going. We're gonna mix them up. Where's the spoon? Here's the spoon. I gotta get a wood spoon, but bear with me. You know, we'll figure this out sooner or later. Well, a little more olive oil, I think, so we don't burn it. So once that gets going, we're gonna take some prime bison ribeye that I grilled at medium and I took it off at medium rare. Diced it, we're gonna brown it just a little bit because I don't wanna bruise the bison. If you've never had bison, try it. Go to NebraskaBison.com. Very lean, a little sweeter, but it's great tasting. So hang on, onions are working our way around the pot. And now we're gonna add the bison. You could use round round, ground chuck, deep tenderloin maybe, if you're not on a budget. If you are, so what? So we're working this around, and in a second, we're gonna add some other ingredients. So. Stay tuned. You're on. Okay, we're back. Ski jacket was a little hot in the kitchen. So, someone asked about maybe wine pairings. How about beer today? Okay, the meat is brown. We got the jalapenos, the onion, a little olive oil, a little brown. Now we take some. Black beans, mix it, mix it, mix it, pinto beans, mix, oh, hit my head almost, <laughs> mix that up, we're going to have some, not a recipe, but I'm doing it anyways, mild green chilies, and as you can see by the recipe, there's chili powder, there's cumin, there's sage, there's uh, hot peppers, however, however spicy you want to make it. And then two cans of diced tomatoes. This is going to be really good. Almost hit my head again. Not good, but we'll get there. Mixy, mixy, mixy. Uh, wow, wow, okay, then Curly from Big Sky, if I fail to mention, it was Big Sky, Montana, favorite place. Uh, I hope you don't go there because the crowds aren't very large, and we like it that way. So Curly says add a can of water. Hey Curly, can of water, here we go. Oops, it's beer. Well, can of water, can of beer, what the hell's the difference? Now we're going to let this simmer, cook for about two hours. We're going to add some spices, obviously. It's looking pretty good already, nice and thick. Then later on, we'll show you the finished product. Little choppy choppy of the onion and some mild cheese. Voila. Hey, thanks for joining Margot TV, Bulldog in the Kitchen, Episode 4. Stay tuned again. Love you guys.